Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Them That Follow. This is my 490 second review on YouTube. Them That Follow. Deep in Appalachia, Pastor Lemuel Childs presides over an isolated community of Pentecostal snake handlers. As his devoted daughter Mara prepares for her wedding under the watchful eye of Hope Slaughter, Mara reveals a deadly secret that threatens to shatter the entire community. Also starring blah blah blah. I'll get to that in a second. This is a 2019 film. It is rated R. It uh, runs 98 minutes. And it stars Olivia Coleman, Caitlin Dever, Alice Englert, Jim Gaffigan, Walton Goggins, and Thomas Mann and Lewis Pullman. This is Them That Follow. Well, I've got to say that uh, this is a different movie for sure. Um, if you're not prepared for what you're about to watch, then you might be kind of shocked and creeped out and all that stuff. Uh, the snakes add a different dimension to this movie other than just kind of creepy. And uh, things happen with the snakes and that you would not see coming. And for someone to build their religion kind of off of the snake is a conver separate conversation for another time. But uh, it's really interesting. It's really unique movie. Uh, has Goggins that is in a TV show I like. Uh, Jim Gaffigan, who you should all know. And, uh, you know, it has some good people in here. Some good actors. Some, uh, some decent ideas. Some decent drama. And uh, it's just kind of an interesting movie. So, um, definitely seek it out. I'm going to put that out there right away. So I'm going to start with the criticisms because um, it's just kind of different criticisms here. Is that there are a couple actors in here who you know who they are. You know what they've done before. You know kind of what usual characters they should play, right? So there are a lot of times in this movie where them being themselves is a problem. And... <clears throat> then maybe they might get it into gear and act into character and give us some kind of performance that we you know desire from them but otherwise they're kind of just being themselves and just kind of saying their lines and it it kind of hurts the movie just a tiny bit so that's the first thing uh the next is that the the story of this you know the the premise of it is you know not completely explained you know like there's some things that happen and they just kind of skip over it they don't let us see it uh they don't let us see their interaction with the police but they talk about the police at least what five times in the movie and then they you know we're supposed to understand that they're a tiny community but there's like not that many people and you know they you know they're, it's like we're watching the village and the village has you know like a hundred people in it you know so like it seems like a real community um this one movie that came out this last year midsummer you know there's there's like a hundred people in there so it just didn't seem like they had enough people to really make a society a you know a community um you know i just didn't buy into the whole idea of the premise of the movie because it didn't seem like they had a large enough cast to really pull it off. So, <clears throat> um, as the movie went on, you know, like, it was fine. You know, people didn't really stay in character and everything. I was just kind of getting used to that. But, um, otherwise, the rest of the movie is just really interesting. It has a lot of, you know, stuff going on. It has a kind of a love triangle, if you will. And it kind of has, you know, people who are expected to kind of take over and you don't know if they're really worth uh you know their uh expectancy if they're going to fulfill it 
So there's a lot to go on here. Uh, the, the characters are good. The, the people keeping secrets from each other is good. You know, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. Um, there's not much more because, you know, it's a, it's a good, unique idea. Uh, I don't know if they handle the sickness of this one character all that well, but he has all the correct lines going into the situation. He says all the right things along the way. Uh, the, the the daughter Mara, you know, she has a good character about her. She has a lot of stuff going on. So, um, just because of the things I can't explain that felt a little off about this movie. Uh, like I said at the beginning, you know, the couple obvious things. But really the premise of the movie just felt a little off. And I can't really explain it unless you've seen it. So let's give this movie a B and suggest that you watch it sometime if you want to seek it out and watch something a little creepy and interesting. But otherwise, I think I'm good. Uh, I watched it. I enjoyed it. Can't say I'll watch it again. Uh, and that's why it's not getting an A because I just don't feel like it's one that I need to rewatch over and over again. Uh, the characters really kind of suffer throughout the movie. The fact that they feel like they have to be themselves and they can't get into a character, I think is the worst thing about it. So, uh, B for them that follow. Thanks a lot, guys. My name's Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. And enjoy your movies. Thanks.